you've just hired your first employees and now it's time to compensate them. But if you're unsure where to start, this video is for you. As a business owner, it's tempting to jump straight into spreadsheets to pay your employees. But there's a lot more to consider, like ensuring fair and motivating compensation, navigating legal requirements such as basic conditions of employment, leave policies and tax laws reporting. And of course, actually processing salary payments. That's why a payroll system is such a critical part of your business. Fortunately, payroll software can handle much of the heavy lifting for you. And that's where I come in. I'm here to guide you through it all with my series of payroll videos. I'll show you how to use Sites Business Cloud Payroll from setup to submitting taxes and UIF contributions. Normally training like this would cost thousands, but I'm offering it for free right here on YouTube. You're welcome. So why Sites Business Cloud Payroll? Having worked with various payroll programs, I believe Sites Business Cloud Payroll is the best option for small businesses. It offers all the features of a robust payroll system, but at a price point tailored for your workforce. Whether you pay two employees or a hundred, you only pay for what you need. Check out this video where I break down the pricing and features of Sites Business Cloud Payroll. Once you've seen how Sites Business Cloud Payroll fits your budget and needs, the next step is to get hands on. Let's jump into the software where I'll guide you through the employee payment process. Paying your employees using Sites Payroll starts with the employee setup where you specify each employee's payment details. The default option is cash which is straightforward. Just determine the net pay hand over the cash in an envelope and hopefully get a signature for it. However, cash payments come with significant safety risks, making the option less favorable for many businesses. Another option is check, though it's not popular in South Africa anymore for obvious reasons. Then there's the electronic transfer method. Here you set up the employee's banking details on your internet banking platform and from your net pay report you manually enter each employee's net pay before authorizing the transfer. The next option, ACB or Automated Clearing Bureau, takes payroll integration a step further. Sites payroll generates a salary payment file with all your employees net pay amounts which you then upload to your internet banking. This process reduces the risk of fraud and typing errors, since the amounts can't be altered during the transfer. The sky is so pretty right now. Lastly, there's NetCash, which offers full integration directly from your payroll to paying all your employees automatically. It provides the highest level of integration between your payroll and the payment process, minimizing the risk of payment errors or fraud, especially if someone else handled the payments. The focus of this video is on how small businesses can benefit from using net cash as an integrated salary payment mechanism. To ensure a smooth payment process, I'm now entering the employee's banking details in the setup screen. This step is crucial because it ensures that the correct bank details are used for salary payments, linking the net pay calculated in Sites Payroll directly to the actual payment through NetCash. For salary payments, the most crucial report is the net pay list. 
This report details each employee's payment method, bank details, and their net pay for the month. Let me introduce you to NetCash and its salary payments service. This service integrates seamlessly with Sage, allowing you to upload payment files directly from your payroll. The process is simple, secure and effortless, requiring no further capturing of amounts in your bank account. No matter the bank or number of payments, you can have peace of mind knowing that everyone will be paid on time. To access NetCash, go to the top navigation menu, click Payroll, and then move down to NetCash. You will be taken to the setup screen. The information from here onwards will only display if you have a NetCash account set up. I will leave a link in the video description if you would like to learn more about NetCash. But let's go ahead and click Next. A salary batch will be created for employees whose payment method has been set as NetCash. Three fields will display the batch name, the payment date, and the statement reference for the salary payments from your bank account. When clicking Next, NetCash retrieves the payment information of each employee and does the bank account validation. You will receive an email like the one presented on the screen, confirming that the data in the file has been validated successfully. Back in Sage, click the Make Payment button. A message will pop up, stating that the payment file has been submitted successfully. Press OK to continue and proceed to the Sage Connected Services, where you will enter your NetCash login credentials. You will be directed to your NetCash account. Under Services, in the top navigation menu, select Payments. Then, in the left corner, click on Menu, which will expand to reveal more options. Press Salaries and under the Salaries menu, select Salary Batches. You will notice that the batch total that needs authorization agrees with the total batch amount from Sage. Click Authorize and on the next screen, confirm the batch authorization. You will notice that employees can be advised that you will be paying funds into their accounts by email or SMS. The total batch amount, including the fees, must be available in your NetCash account on the payment release date. You have the option to use the available balance or make a bank transfer for the salary batch to be released. Lastly, accept the terms and conditions and press Authorize. We are all familiar with the one-time PIN that will be sent to your phone, which you have to enter to release the batch. You will receive a confirmation email that the salary batch has been authorized with an attached report. By opening the PDF report, you will see that the batch value agrees with your Sage net pay value. I would like to show you where you can view history reports in NetCash. Under Services, select Payments. Then click the left menu button and choose Salary Batch Reports. All the past salary batches will be displayed. And right at the top is the latest salary payments batch. We have released directly from Sage. You are also able to view a batch summary report and a salary batch detail report where you can obtain a net salary payment amount per employee. These reports can be saved in case you need to share or store them with your payroll file. In conclusion, 
the seamless integration of NetCash with Sage Business Cloud Payroll offers a powerful solution for managing your payroll and ensuring timely payments to your employees. With Sage handling the payroll run, you can efficiently calculate and process payroll taxes, generate essential reports, and prepare salary batches. NetCash takes over by securely handling the payment process directly from the payroll software, eliminating the need for manual entries and reducing the risk of errors. We have come to the end of our comprehensive guide on ensuring timely payments with Sites Business Cloud Payroll and NetCash. If you found this video helpful and are ready to experience the benefits of seamless payroll management, I encourage you to try Sage Business Cloud Payroll. Click the link in the description to get started today. Thank you for watching and sticking with me to the end of the video. Until next time. See you soon.